my name is Sophie Weber. I'm a senior lecturer and ARC DECRA research fellow in the School of Geosciences at the University of Sydney, and I'm a geographer. I do research in what I call climate change hotspots, and I think about climate change hotspots in two ways. So on the one hand, these are places, uh, mostly cities, big cities, growing cities, dynamic cities, which are experiencing fairly drastic impacts of climate change. But on the other hand, these are cities which uh, a lot of people have tried to um, fix climate change in. And so they're receiving a whole series of different kinds of financial investments, projects, different actors trying to respond to climate change in these vulnerable places. And that these projects have really uh, profound effects that kind of reverberate well beyond the sphere of, of climate impacts themselves. So I do research about climate change adaptation. One of the things about adaptation and vulnerability to climate impacts is that different people experience climate impacts to different extents and to different severities in different ways. Um, and so when we think about how we might respond to climate change, it might reduce some people's vulnerability and exacerbate someone else's vulnerability. So one of the things that I've been trying to focus on is kind of expanding our imagination of what we think is possible um, for adaptation uh, in terms of who pays for it, what it looks like, who it benefits and so on. So try to really think in, in, in beyond these narrow financial terms about how we might achieve um, adaptation responses. I do research mostly about big infrastructure projects in response to climate change and so things like seawalls or, or new dams or particular kind of dredging projects to make uh, rivers more resilient in the face of changing rainfall regimes. There's a lot of different ways that those infrastructures can have effects that really reverberate extraordinarily widely um, across communities and landscapes and ecosystems and livelihoods and financial flows which is one of the things that I'm interested in. There's a whole bunch of people living in vulnerable places and what actually are we going to do about that? It's not an easy option and so I think one of the things that I'm researching more broadly is you know well beyond New South Wales and these other kind of climate change hotspots in Southeast Asia and in the Pacific is that these adaptation decisions are really, really difficult. And one of my hopes is that we can kind of not so much depend on adaptation as the response to climate change, that we might instead to decide to invest much more heavily in reducing greenhouse gases so that we don't begin to experience these really rapidly growing climate impacts. So climate change is often thought about in financial terms, both in terms of the costs of responding to, uh, to climate impacts for, for adaptation, the, the costs of reducing greenhouse gases, you know, the industries that might have to close or not. Um, but this is a particular kind of financial framing of climate change, which, which, which kind of assumes that the, the government is too poor to pay, that, that us as taxpayers are not willing to invest that money in securing a safe climate future for us and for, for a variety of other people and, and for obviously those future generations. But I think this kind of forecloses the opportunities that we have to respond to climate change. As a geographer, um, it means so much to my discipline to be recognised by the Academy as well, um, recognised in the university and, and beyond. <laughs>